Castle Dome is one of Arizona's earliest ghost towns dating back to the mid-1800s. It was once larger than the closest neighboring city to the south, Yuma, Arizona. Buildings were relocated due to complaints and now have been turned into a museum which depicts life in an early mining town. And the question we came to answer, were residents of Castle Dome still lingering within its walls? We team up with Strange Happenings to hopefully answer this question for certain. As always, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like on this vid, and join us at reminvestigations.com for past and future expeditions in search of potential evidence of the paranormal. Also, stick around to the end of this video where I rate how haunted I believe Castle Dome is. Oh yeah, we have a theme song too. Creepy. Yeah. Nothing in that way, is it? So we do have the Vivitar back here as well. That's true. So it was coming from back here. Yeah, that's true. I have the camera back there now, so. Yeah. It could be the wind. It just it seemed like the wind died down a lot, though. It did. There was no wind on the balcony. I don't know what that is either. It sounds like there's something.
I don't know what that is either. It doesn't sound like there's something. Yeah. I don't know what that is either. It doesn't sound like there's something down here. Right? Yeah, like a tapping noise. Side. Where is that door? It just leads uh, out to the side. I think it's kind of like facing the same way. Oh, creepy. It's just the door. Huh? I'm sure you're okay. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Yeah, this is weird. It could have been just sound like it came from like right here. That we heard. Mm. Yeah. It didn't sound like that was so you gonna take over so I can grab some pictures? Well, it might have been you guys talking, but when we walked in, I thought I heard like a hum, like right here. Oh, it makes sense because it's a church. I was like, yeah. a, mm. but it could have been, I mean, because your voices sounded muffled too, but it sounded like it was inside. This says when a miner died in the mine, they took his boots off and they hung the boots upside down on the rafter where his soul left his body. What did that look like? Was it just the same? No. Like a big Yes, those tin roofs. More dresses. Looks like this was a barn or something with those doors like that. Yeah. I can see. Does that look like blood on the floor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I actually got a village. Yeah, I smell the blood. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I smell the blood. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Where? That could be. Because it would be dark brown like that. Yeah, right. You know? It's like dried and smeared. Yeah. I wonder what happened. Somebody died. Yeah, that's creepy. I didn't want to zoom in on that. Why'd you make me zoom? <laughs> <laughs> the, the head? Yeah. Saw? <laughs> That's a lot of saws. Is and this is where they dismember us with the saws. Oh, don't like that. Thank you. 
Hmm? Could have been. It's a pencil sharpener. <laughs> yeah. You're such a dork. That wasn't too uncommon back in the day. Um, All the way out there, yeah. It sounded like we're in some outside there. No, we no, walked in here and I was about to say, oh damn, and then you asked if we were talking. You heard that, right? Yeah. Maybe it was just the one. Oh, yeah, it's, look, it's the one. Oh, it's probably just these little like, panels. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. Definitely. You guys got to check out these lighters in here. Oh, really? They got like a wall of them. A lighter collection of like a thousand Ooh. of them. Also, it's not really cool. I know. It sounds like someone's talking every time the one hits it. Oh wow, yeah. Oh, that's a gun lighter or guns in there. Okay, that again. Oh, I think that was Angie talking. That was before that. You heard something? Yeah. What? Hmm? Are you just laughing at something? Oh, I think that was Angie talking. That was before that. You heard something? Yeah. I heard Angie say something. Well, it came from your direction. Kind of sounded like when you do that like half chuckle thing. No. I I moved this thing. Nightmare inducing. Anna thought she heard laughing in here when we walked in. It's like a half laugh kind of thing. Oh. Maybe we picked that up. Can you tell us if you used to live here?
Where was that? Hmm? Back over here again. Yeah. Same corner. <laughs> No. I think it would come from different directions besides just over there. If somebody's walking around over here. Can you speak into the speaker, please? What? Let's try just asking the box on. So okay. The theory, you know. Okay. Can we just record on the iron? Yeah. All right, go for it. If someone's in here with us, can you walk again? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, Shane, they're... Walk again. <laughs> I don't think it's outside. What? Sounded like it was outside. It didn't sound like it was outside. It might be the wind though. Because now you can hear the wind. Yeah. That was creepy though. Creepy timing, yeah. Can you make that noise again? Can you tap on the wall, please? One last time, if you're in here, can you just make that creaking noise again, please? I don't know what would be making that noise. Yeah, after three times. Because it's not, it wasn't doing that when you were Yeah. And the wind was dying down too, you could hear it, it was... Yeah. I heard a plane going overhead, but I think... It, yeah, was that a plane or... I think that was a plane. Yeah, maybe that was a plane and it wasn't the wind. And now it's not doing it. I mean, I think Yuma has an airport. If you used to live here, can you make that creaking noise again, please? Sound like a footstep. I think it was tapping. It sounded like tapping. Mm -hmm. It sounded like the door moving, but it wasn't the door. It sounded like it came from the corner. But it kind of like outside. I don't know if that was the tin roof. It sounds closest to a door. I hear it from this side. What happens when you tap on the window? Does it sound like that? Oh, oh maybe it's the window. Yeah, it could yeah. be. Yeah. 
and now it has increased since. That was back behind you. Mm. Mm. The weird thing about that, is, though, is it's two different directions. So, like, the wind would have to be going, you know? Yeah. I didn't hear that one, though. You didn't hear that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah. 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 It's creepy, don't do that. <laughs> and you're really going to call something. <laughs> yeah, I don't like these rooms. Is there something? The creepy doll? <laughs> The coat hanger thing on the wall is moving. Now, oh. SB7 mode. There's no air flow up here. Nope. <laughs> Catch. It's hard to pick up on the camera. What is that clicking? I thought that was maybe your camera, but uh -uh. no, I switched the other one. Where are you hearing it from? I don't hear it anymore. I could have swear I heard like a click click. I heard it too. Yeah, I don't think I can have it. I thought maybe it was your camera focusing, but try walking by it. Yeah. We'll try walking by it. See if that kicks it up. No. No. <laughs> That was weird. It's not in the Is it just in this room or it's in the other room? Yeah, it's in the other room. Nothing. That's on the level. Wow. <laughs> oh, there, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that takes a lot of wind though. There's Did any of you blow on it? <laughs> was it just like the force of all of us walking past? I don't know. All right. Maybe we created enough of a draft. I mean, it did that for a while, though. You yeah, know? it did. And, like, from you blowing on it, it's already kind of stopping. Yeah. yeah. Let's get the essentials, the creepy dolls. Try walking by it, see if that kicks it up. No. No. <laughs> that was weird. Step. 
Yeah, maps that guy. Keeps mapping that out, maybe because it's a long piece of wood. A solo thing. <laughs> Coyotes out there. I don't even know where I'm going. Someone's in there. Can you make yourself appear again? I don't think I can get in there.
I can't find the official backdrop, uh, so this is gonna have to do. It's somewhere around here, we just moved in. I'm sure I'll find it. But I do have these two really cool uh, lights, and they can do this. I feel like it's been a while, and quite frankly, it has. Moving sucks, but we're almost settled into our new place and ready to bring you more evidence of the paranormal. First off, I'd like to thank Alan for letting us investigate Castle Dome. The work he and others have put into the museum is amazing and needs to be seen firsthand. For more info, visit castledomemuseum.org. Also, thanks to Strange Happenings for joining us on our first of many adventures. Alex and Angie produce some of the best YouTube content I've come across lately, and they always creatively surpass their last upload. You can check them out at YouTube slash C slash Strange Happenings. Now, let's see how haunted I believe Castle Dome is. I almost feel like we were having too much fun exploring this ghost town to thoroughly investigate. Where were you last night? Regardless, we did pick up on some unexplained activity. Zero EMF readings were recorded, but the number of potential disembodied voices was high. Especially the voice Hannah heard out loud that can almost certainly be considered a captured disembodied voice. <laughs> We had an odd experience in the church, but not odd enough to be considered paranormal. One last time, if you're in here, can you just make that creaking noise again, please? So with zero EMF activity, a few possible and one definite disembodied voice, and a hangar that potentially moved on its own, I'd have to rate the Castle Dome Ghost Town 73% haunted. I would rate this higher if it wasn't for the windy night, which could rule out some of the activity. Thanks again for stopping in. If you'd like to show your support, there's a number of ways to do so down below this video. Also, if you sign up to our Patreon, you'll have exclusive access to recent live streams from investigations. Coincidentally enough, our most recent investigation was with Strange Happenings, and they received a pretty convincing reply in the spirit box. Next time, I ditch Hannah and team up with Tyler of Truth and Life Paranormal for my very first out-of-state investigation. So until next time, stay safe and... Enjoy these flashing lights.